We're live. Awesome. We're here. <laughs> we made it. We're finally fucking here, dog. Hell yeah. Cue the fucking intro, bitches. Oh, so I can't look at the pocket pussies yet? No. Oh. No, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, man. I just thought it was time. Dude, fucking 30 seconds in. <laughs> 30 seconds in. Already. We're, we're, we're queuing at it. Yeah. 30 seconds right now. Boom. And you already want to bring in the fucking... What, what is it? The pocket pussies. Like an like electronic pocket pussy. Whacking it, like there's like little, like those little pop-up ads, yeah. and this dude was going ham on the thing. It literally had like a spring in it, and it was like wrapped around like a Terminator arm, and he was just like, the thing was doing all the work for him. And I'm like, what in the fuck is this thing? So let me get this straight. You had me. It, it's like a mechanical pencil, but it's not the pencil that we had in middle school. It this is an adult mechanical pencil. No, dude, like, this thing was, like, about as big as your can. Like, the round was probably about, like, that high up by the looks of it. And, like, the spring was on the top part. Right. Uh, I think the uh, the pocket pussy was, like, in here. And, like, it was vibrating and going up and down. Like, it was a dual action. Right. It, du- <laughs> it was, like, <laughs> like a, a supreme dual action pocket pussy is what it was. Did it say supreme on it? Like, You know, it probably would have sold for more if it had supreme on yeah. it. Yeah. And just, like, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bought it. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But anyway, guys, for the new viewers, this is our podcast called Cracking a Cold One. Now, you might be wondering, man, what kind of sleazy ass setup is this? But don't you worry. We're making a studio soon. We're in the process of doing that. This is we just wanted to get out there. We just wanted to we just wanted to start. We just we were we were tired of fucking waiting. And we've been wanting to do this for how long? Fucking Year, years, like it, like a minimum of two years, a minimum of two years. We, I remember, two two addresses ago, us talking about this just all willy nilly, and here we are. It took some time, and we're still not to the exact point we want to get, but we're there enough to want to start, and better late than never. Yeah, very true. Very true. Uh, we should have had a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe page. No, that that's not how it works. That, that is how it works. You're taking money away from the people who need it, Damien. I don't know. I've seen a lot of stuff where like people oh, put oh, up on there. It's like, oh, oh, by the way, my co-host Damien. Hi guys. So, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> He's not as nice as he seems. Trust me. Um, oh, we're about to get, we're about to dive in. We're about to dive yeah. in. <laughs> so basically, crack it a cold one. The gimmick behind this, because there's a gimmick behind. Every podcast, every fucking podcast, always, now. yeah. So there's always like a shtick or something, right? I should probably, man. I'm already fucking. Up. I need to put that on like the fucking ground. Was it keep because, vibrating? Yeah. See, I have mine on my lap. Fuck me then. Because you caught me like midstream. Like I was trying to find the golden pocket pussy, and you're like, "We're live," and I'm like, "Oh." You caught me with my pants down. Like, was not prepared. Because <laughs> right before you were like, "Man, do I have to go back to Pornhub, <laughs> <laughs> try to find it?" Yeah. yeah. But uh, the gimmick, the gimmick of this show is we basically try a new beer every time, and that's why it's called cracking a cold one. We're cracking a cold one with the fucking boys. Yeah. Easy. And this is an, and, and you know we're gonna have more boys on. This is just the first of many episodes. We're gonna we're gonna probably fill up this section with like fucking four people one day, four or five people one day. Every so often, that's just what's gonna happen. So that'd be crazy. That'd be nice. Uh, it, it might happen next episode. The Who conversations knows? would definitely last longer, and they'd be more out there in the wind. Yeah, which would be great. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of debates and topics I want to bring up okay. with specific people. Yeah, just see how to, they react to it and everything. To spark, because I, you know, the thing, like the thing that I like about podcast is differences. Like I don't like when everybody agrees. Yeah, it makes it really hard to and, try to come together with and, something. And boring. Yeah. It makes it everything boring. If everybody exciting. agrees on everything, then what the fuck's the point of having a discussion about anything? So I want to, you know, like I was telling you about the other day, I might have somebody come on uh, and they have very different opinions than me. But I'm willing to talk about that, you know? So Are they, though? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
Listen, dog. Is this gonna be like a, a Jerry Springer thing where they just get up and like they'll flip the table or some shit? He would do some shit like that. <laughs> no, really, dog. He will. Wow. Like we're already talking bad about something. We don't. Even, I don't even know who it is, <laughs> dude. This man who wants to come on here so bad wants to. He could like legit put me. I don't know what's the best way to say it. He could put me in a Campbell's chunky soup can if he really wanted oh, to. Oh, gee. So this is a big boy. Yeah, he, he's he's a beefy lad. Oh, okay, okay. Like, maybe he needs to shave a little. I'll, I'll respect that. I'll respect about him. But, yeah. yeah. But anyway, guys, beers. the whole point of this is to try a new beer. So my dude picked here some Jack Daniels Black Jack Cola. Now, I have not had this before, but it's basically Jack and Coke. Uh, funny story. So I don't know if it's Jack and Coke. I feel like it's probably gonna be like. I, I think this is their interpretation on Jack and Coke. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I mean, it's it's cola. Yeah, but it was. I feel like it was kind of like a beer. That'd be weird if they threw it like in with the liquor or what? Is, what is what is Jack Daniels? What is it? Uh, Jack Daniels is whiskey. It is a whiskey. Okay, man, shut <laughs> up. I'm already messing up. I thought it was. I thought it was like a liquor. Me? Yeah. Just to be just to be clear, we're not experts. We're not experts. <laughs> Just so you know, you don't have to look in the camera every time. Well, I see you, like, you look, and I'm like, all right, all right. Yeah, for okay, certain right, things, right, for right, certain so things. Kind of go back and forth, all right. Again, we're working out the fucking, we're working, working out, out the, kinks, the yeah. yeah, working out the kinks. All right. So, so this is what we're going to do. We're going we're to pop it open. Are you sure not twist? Yeah, you were asked for a fucking bottle cap earlier. Are right? they twist off? Yeah. They, oh, yeah, they are twist off. It says it right there. bottle over. Um, but we're not, we're not aficionados. We're not aficionados in the fucking slightest. We give our opinions to the average Joes that don't know because much what they're talking about either and we just kind of because i don't know shit i like i don't know like where to start like when i talk about beer are you fucking kidding me yeah it's a little too hoppy for my liking no like i'm i'm gonna give you some weird ass analogies and shit i'm gonna leave it open and let it ferment or is that or is that for wine (laughs) that's not (laughs) just just let it let the uh oh damn i'm messing up my own joke i don't even know what it is cleanse the palate yeah no it's not cleanse the palate but it's like the uh let it let it air out or something like let it's it. It's not a fucking thing. No, nah, they do that for wine. I'm pretty sure. Like when they uncork it and they pour it, they're like, "Whoa, whoa we got to wait a couple minutes." They don't do it for fucking Jack and Coke. So fucking put them put them up what put I- them up. That's fine. The first of many. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you don't get canceled. You're right. That is their kind of interpretation of Jack and Coke. Yeah, and it sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a weird. It feels like it's like a diet coke they threw in there. They went cheap. They're like, all right, let's put let's put this with lost. It syrup. tastes like the cheapest ass cola I've ever had. Like, there's RC cola, there's Sam's cola, and then there's whatever the fuck they put in here. Oh, this is like that food line cola. That's what that is. What the? Ugh, I don't. Like but it's four point eight percent. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. I mean, I don't mind the jack part. I don't. I don't mind the jack part at all. I don't and it's not too that. strong, so I, I feel like it's probably gonna sneak up on us later. We got two more each, so. You want to finish the whole fucking six pack? On oh this? yeah, we're definitely finished the whole six pack. It's happening. Wow. We're not just cracking the cold one. We're we're down in the six. Oh fam, damn. All right, I gotta edit this. Yeah, this is gonna be long. Why are you trying to? Well, I'm, I'm not killing you. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's three. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Damn, I'm. Uh, the whole point it was just to go through one. <laughs> oh no, go at bigger, least go bigger, go home, man. Like, dude. If if I buy like a four pack, we definitely have to finish both. Like, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, like six pack, we got to finish this three. But if I buy like a, f- I don't, I don't know if I can down three of these. Though. But if I buy like a fifth of something, like I don't expect us to finish that. Like even that, we're gonna die. One day I'll make us some trash cans. You gonna sneeze, dog? You uh, gonna burp? Out of burp, I don't want to burp. Let the right people now. hear it. Oh no, let them enjoy. Let them try to smell it. Like, yeah, dude, mm, that's what it smells like. So when I get people on, <laughs> yeah. next, and then they look and they uh and they smell your fucking microphone. I mean, yo, who the fuck is whose dumpster monster has been here? <laughs> so it's gonna be like a Billy Joel song, the Piano Man. <laughs> the microphone smells like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So what have you been up to this week? Um, not much, not much. Uh, worked. That's about it. But I, oh, I do want to tell you, I went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yeah. Over the weekend, it was a one day excursion with your family. Yeah, it was. It was. I sat in the back. I slept. But when we got there, oh, no, hold on. Did you contribute anything to this trip? <laughs> Besides me having to stop twice, because I was, all right, I can't. So we left Friday night. We got a hotel. Next morning, Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning, we went to McDonald's for breakfast. 
Well, hold on. Sorry, is this the beginning? This is the beginning of everything. Like, I'm about to get in depth in the Gatlinburg. I'm going to tell you everything that happened. In the Gatlinburg. Got and, it. Yeah. So, we get there. We went to McDonald's. I got myself a caramel coffee. and McFrappe? No, no. Just regular caramel coffee and a... Basic bitch. Yeah, and a sausage McGriddle. I made it 30 minutes. And then the rumbly tumbly started happening. <laughs> <laughs> the ru- the rumbly tumbly started happening <laughs> and i told my mom i was like yo she went to stop for gas i was like all right i'm gonna be a minute I'm about to let let it go i was in that bathroom for like 25 minutes pushing to my heart i felt like i was giving birth <laughs> nothing nothing happened so i was like all right maybe maybe it's just like little stomach pains you know what i'm saying yeah it was not stomach pains we, we got back in the car 15 minutes. You know, like, you know, like that counter in your head, like you, the tumblies and like, you're like, Oh, I'm about to shit myself. Yeah. It, this is about to happen. Like, oh, you feel a little tingly in your asshole. Oh, dude, like, you know, like you, squeak, you start, you start clenching that shit. Yeah, you, 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 like you do like a little poker. You're like, mm, mm. yeah. So I was doing, yeah. I was doing that. And I told my mom, I was like, mom, the next exit, you better pull over. We, we better hit a gas station. She was like, okay. Flew right past it. I was like, mom, the accident. She was like, "No, I thought you said the next rest stop." I was like, "No, mom. I'm like, it's happening now." The, the clock. I don't st- care. About, I don't care about to go to a mom and pop shop. Yeah, like I'm on the clock, mom. I'm like, <laughs> it's do or die right now. Like, in the back of my mind, the whole time I'm like, "Thank God I packed an extra pair of undies." Like, <laughs> like something undies. With, undies. Yeah. So, and then I was like, "Mom, she flew by another one." What the two fuck, exits, mom? I'm like, I'm puckering up. I'm like, like focusing on not like. That dead stare, like something trying to concentrate, like you're just like, just breathing it out, trying to let it go. And uh, she finally pulled over, went to a gas station. And so I went to the bathroom and there was two stalls and there was the small stall and like, you know, the big handicap stall. Mm -hmm. And I thought someone was in the big handicap stall. My brother just go ahead and swings the door open. I was like, oh, get the fuck out of there. Like, I'm going to be in here a minute. You get the shitty stall. I'll get the nice leg sprawler stall. (laughs) (laughs) So I did that. That was the beginning of an interesting day. And then we got to Gatlinburg. And we were driving around trying to find a parking spot. Dude, this shit was fucking more congested than Bill Cosby's women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm throwing it in there. You went there. I did go there. So we finally found a parking spot. And then we saw Old Red. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, Blake right, Shelton's yeah. uh, restaurant. So I said, hey, we're going to go here for dinner. Because they always have live bands. Which was awesome. And... So we did that. We started walking around. Some of the stuff was like ridiculously expensive. We went to uh, Ripley's. Believe it or not. Let them smell it. Well, I kind of like leaned away. I get it. So I went to Ripley's. uh, Like, believe it or not, it was like four stories. Like we were going to go in there because it was interesting. Ripley's. Remember that middle school shit? The book Mm -hmm. where we just flipped through it. So I went. I went to ask for the price. The bitch was like, for five people, it was like 160 bucks. 160 bucks for what exactly? Like, like four floor, it was like three, three, four floors of just like looking at random shit. I was like, no, like this, this ain't happening. We're not doing this. And then, uh, so Ella was there and Gabe, Taylor, I, and my mom. But you know how Ella is. She always likes to be like, oh, I just, why do we do this and this? This is why we came here for this. And I'm like, you need to relax, sis. How about that? <laughs> And man, you're fucking your sisters. Yeah, they're they're ridiculous. We will definitely talk about them yeah, we more and more. And my brother, like, anyways. Oh, we have to tell you. We have to. Dude, we have. I have two stories to tell about your brother. Okay, okay, all right. But all right. Keep, you know, keep, keep, keep going. Keep, yeah, going, keep right. going. Keep going. Keep going. So we kept walking around. That's what we spent most of our time. We were spent most of our time walking around and waiting in lines. And so we were looking for this anacasia, anacasia, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm not gonna pronounce it right. But all those people in Gatlinburg, I apologize, but not because, you know, whatever. So (laughs) I'm a tourist, you know? And uh, so we get there and there's this line and there's like this little, I'm going to do like a visual diagram for those people. So there's like this booth and then there's a ski lift. Like we'll use this as the ski lift. All right. And then here's this line to the ski lift. Like there's the little booth and there's the little line. And so we were thinking that, hey, we already we bought our tickets somewhere else, like somewhere other on the road. So we're like, all right, we just got to get our wristband to get on the ski lift and go up. So we're like, all right. So we waited in this little booth line to get into the booth. 
and why everyone was like, this line was wrapped around us to get on the ski lift. Right. And, and like, it never stops moving. So, I mean, it keeps going, but it, it takes a while. So I was thinking like, oh, since we already paid for our tickets, because they had to pay their tickets there, maybe we can get kind of cut in front of everybody because we are the VIP people. No, I was fucking dead wrong. We waited like <laughs> 45 minutes because some fucking Karen was arguing over 95 cents. 95 cents? 95 cents. Were you, were, at any point where you just like, I'm going to pay this bitch is 95 cents. No, I didn't catch it until we were like the second people. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were like the second people and I like Taylor told me about like that Karen was throwing a fit over 95 cents because she had a gift card or something and she's like, oh, it's, it's supposed to be $40 and it's not forty ninety five, And I'm like, really? This bitch argued over 95 cents. First of all, she waited to the rest Damn. of her, she waited till the rest of her family members showed up. Like she was the only one there. And then she started like, people started gathering. Wait um, until Billy, Billy Joel, Billy Bob get here. Yeah. And like, <laughs> what is going on here? And then, so like, we finally got up to the booth. My mom was like, Hey, I already paid for the tickets. Here's the receipt. And the lady gave us the wristbands. And she's like, you got to go all the way back to the other line. And I was like, What? Like, this isn't, like, the shortcut line, like, to get to the ski lift. She's like, no, you got to go back. So we pretty much went to one line to have to go back to another line. We were, yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, hands down, fuck that. So my mom, she met, like, these, these uh, guest guides. They kind of like, hey, this is what we do. Yeah. So thank God there was a truck that went up there. So my mom was like, we can't drive up there. And they're like, no, it's a, it's a safety thing. And I'm like, my mom thinking, like, this motherfucker catches up on fire on the hill. These people are going to be rolling down this fucking mountain trying to escape. Either they're going to try to jump off the, this <laughs> fucking cliff that's a straight drop off. Like, you got a little, you got a little like lift and then just fucking drops. Right. And um, so we end up, we wait in line for the truck because it was a whole lot quicker than the ski lift. And then we got it up there. More fucking waiting. All right. So we went to like this little, uh, it's not like a, uh, it's like a track. Like a little, like a little uh, bobsled track, like you know, like the little lever thing where you yeah. push it all the way forward. You can go real fast, and you can slow it down by pushing it back. We went on that. We had a wait in line for that. It was crazy long for like a. How many people was this place packed? Yeah, like, surprisingly, it was really packed. Nobody cared about COVID. Jesus. And I was like, huh, all right. You had like people, some people wearing masks, some people not wearing masks. And I was like, all right, whatever. I didn't wear my mask. I don't care. Oh no. Oh, I'm like, I'm not sick been past three days man oh, no. we're good no 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 no, no. it's okay anyway, anyway, keep going. anyway anyways keep going so we went on the thing it was fun it was fun as hell we had this this 80 year old woman hopped on the thing by the time she got done she was like whoo that was a blast and i'm like all right grandma i have a picture of it i look like uh ace ventura going down the hill you look like ace ventura anyway that, that's very true but like my hair was all like whoosh, whoosh. Oh no! Yeah, it was it was pretty great. I have a couple pictures in in my phone of me like that. Yes, yes, yes. Various times. It's just most of the time it's just you waking up. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. when I let my hair grow out, and so we did that, and then we looked around for other stuff, and there wasn't really much to do up there besides this long bridge that we kind of went around and had lights on it, which was pretty fun. Did a history on it and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. You're learning. I'm learning. I'm evolving. I don't know why I'm bourbon so much, though. It's kind of weird. It's called Jack. Yeah, Jack. And so we went on this bridge. It was fun. And for a guy who hates it, I'm almost done with mine. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we get to the, like the end of the bridge, and then we get to the top where it's like obviously the gift booth where they want you to buy stuff. And this little booklet where it was like, hey, this is why the mountain's called Anna Keisha, because these two kids of this Indian tribe did, did this. Did and they whisper? Yeah, they did whisper. Exactly. Like Jesus it. Christ. Th that's, I'm doing like what the narrator did, because that's how he did it. Like, had like the italicized words. Uh, okay. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Where he's like, this is the story. <laughs> All about how. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My life got turned, flipped upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I did that. And then I, we, we read it, because I was interested. But then it did like the whole typical script. It's like, they had a bad guy. It was like the Weeping Willow or some shit like that. I don't know. But then it was like, we didn't even read the rest of it. Cause I'm like, oh, they're gonna become friends, and the forest is gonna be all living and prosper and shit like that, because they speak to animals and shit. <laughs> and that's, that's what we did. We just left. So we decided to go down the ski lift. I will never get on a ski lift ever again. Please, please, you have to tell this. So, uh, my mom, Ella, and Gabe—they went in front of us, and this motherfucker was tilted like that. 
going down the whole way. Okay. And it's not it's not dangerous. Have, like, you, have you ever been skiing before? No, I've never been skiing before. Oh, yeah. No. So this was like my first time ever on a ski lift. So me, like I wasn't as like sketched as she was. I feel bad. I'm about to put her on a spot. Like she was white knuckling it like crazy. <laughs> but like, who, wait, who Ella or your mom? Taylor. Taylor. Was. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. I rode with Taylor. So like the thing, the ski lift is coming around like the top. Like this is the top part. So the ski lift is coming around and it drops the people off. And then it, as it comes back, it scoops them up. So like, if you, like there's a little bit of like a ledge. So like if you fall or something, you're going to be okay. And so we get on it. And as I'm going down this thing, I see parents holding like a year old children, infants, stuff like that on this ski lift. I'm like, you're out of your mind. Like the only thing holding me is this bar. Right. Yeah. There's this giant cable coming through it. And there's this bar, this bar over me. That's it. It's no, no seatbelt. It's nothing. And I'm like, they're not, they're, it's not going fast. And so we're going down and I just see this. I'm like, I'm thinking back in my, I was like, I could not hold my kids up here. No way. My kids are too squirmy. Like they'd fucking be like, let's jump. <laughs> and you let them. I wouldn't let them. That's crazy. Uh, no, I would not let them. But like, and like I, I'm one of those people, like my mind races kind of fast. So like a couple uh, seats in front of us, someone dropped a bag and you heard the, <laughs> and I was like, damn, that far. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was quick too. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. heard the bop. Yeah, you heard it. Like, right smack hit the ground. I was like, damn. And, like, my mind racing faster. I'm like, damn. Like, these people carrying their kids up here. Like, the ball's on these people. Like, yeah. props to you. And so, Taylor was, like, worried the whole time. And I was like, don't worry, babe. There's always, like, a secondary emergency for something like this if something were to happen. And I look up at the top of the ski lift in this thick-ass cable. The only thing that's holding it is, like, it's, like, half of a round metal with, like, a little, like, it's cut through. So, I'm like... If this thing goes bad. Like we're dropping. Like <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and I was like, hell no. So we got done with that. We got down, and we went to Old Red. Right. That's where I saw the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Hayden Kaufman. I'm about to put him on. We got to add this guy. His music was great there. Okay. He was awesome. We gotta we gotta tag him in this. And so we get to the get to the restaurant, and so the lady. Oh wait, hold on. Back up to the ski lift thing. About to rewind. Sorry, guys. Rewind. So as we were going down the ski lift, there was this old guy with this probably like seven-year-old girl. No jacket on. I want to say it was like 30, maybe 34, 34 degrees. This little girl had no jacket on. She was like this. And the old guy was kind of like hunchback, all aggravated. I'm like, should I call like child services or something? Like, should I be like, like, 23, 19, 23, 19. Yeah, like do like a code? Like, is this girl okay? Yeah. And like, she, like, she, like, she was like away from the guy too. And I was like... Oh, something right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think I might have witnessed a kidnapping. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. At least a hostage situation. Very much, because like the girl had no jacket. She she definitely. I'm gonna be one of those people. She could have caught pneumonia or some shit. But yeah, she was just cold. It's winter. Yeah, obviously. Ig- you're ignorant. Yeah, right. Shame on me. So, anyways, we get into old red. Then, then, then tomorrow, you you find out on the news. Oh, she was kidnapped. Yeah, dude, that'd be. Oh, dude, don't do that to me. That'd be real bad. Like, see her on twenty four or uh... twenty four. <laughs> oh my God, Keith or Subtle? No, 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 not the, not the, not the that twenty four. The other twenty. No, it's forty eight. My bad, forty eight. <laughs> you got twenty four hours to find this girl. <laughs> Clock starts now. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> I just feel like that show ran for twenty four years. Didn't they make a movie too? Yeah, I think. I, I I think. I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't. I don't think. I think if they did, I think I heard it didn't do well. Well, obviously. I don't know. <laughs> so we get down. We get. We go into Old Red, and we have to set up our. We got to do the name thing like B Dubs does, or like probably any restaurant, where you walk in the, um, lady at the door is like, "Hey, what's your name? This is." So I can type it in and stuff like that. How many people are being seated? We were right. like five. She's like, it's gonna be a forty-five minute wait. And we we're like, all right, cool. The line wasn't that long for some reasons. So we were like, cool, whatever. So we walked around for a little bit, and oh, my mom ended up buying weed gummies. As as we're waiting, your mom on drugs just scares me, dude. I, my mom. So we went into as we were waiting for. Our, to get the text back, like, Hey, your table's ready. So we go in, her and Taylor find this outlet 
store. So the only way they can sell is because they find a way around the federal law or whatever. They don't call it, hey, this is, we have dope in this motherfucker. <laughs> They're like, oh, this is THC and, uh... Uh, yeah, that's how all these places do it. They're like, listen, we use these bongs for tobacco only. That's you know what I mean. Like that's yeah. But it's like that. Like they were they, growing the plants. Like you saw them like right out the door. Like, you saw them growing. But, it. Like, I was but like, there's what? no weed here. <laughs> yeah, no weed. This is uh, I, 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 dude, I think it's so funny. And I if, if if there's cops that like want to stay at places, you know how like you know they have checkpoints or whatever. Yeah. Why do none of them sit outside of one of those places after oh, every purchase? That'd be dirty. That'd be so dirty. That's so dirty. That, but, that was, that was... but if I was a cop, I'd be that cop. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's like yo quota. I could get quota for the month. Just right and, there. And two weeks. Just right there. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, because like I, I dude, there's a line of bongs right there. And then the guy, the cashier, and I'm gonna be. This see, might they be didn't a little ever... stereotypical. Listen, man, this is only for tobacco. You know that, right? No, no. See, I only talk about it because there's a guy near us that does that. Oh, see, no, no. This guy was. Uh, they were all white. If you, that's what you're getting at. They were. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, actually, the one guy looked a little. My used to that. Yeah, yeah it was it was wrong. <laughs> hey, man. That's all right. So Tennis, the... tennis, tennis see, hit different. Yeah, I guess. So the the one guy was. Uh, he kind of looked a little bit like Jeremiah. Little little big boy, hefty. Yeah, a little bit. And uh, he, hefty like double durable bag with the extra no, 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 not that big. no, no, no. He, he's uh. kind of tall. So anyway, so he was telling Taylor and t- uh, my mom about it. Be like, hey, you should get these. These would probably work best for you. He's like, only take like one gummy. And my mom took hey, one. Hey, you don't take a whole lot of them, especially if you're not used no, to. No, that. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what he did. Like, they, it was like thirty gummies or sixty gummies. It was a pretty good deal, I guess, uh. for whatever they bought it for. And uh, so she took one. My mom was like, I ate a lot of food out of the fridge. I'm like, yeah, mom, that's, that's what happened. She's like, then I crashed. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, how, that's, that's how these things work. Off of one gummy? <laughs> yeah. Your mom's such a lightweight. Yeah, she starts cu- talking country when probably after one of these, she'd be like, hey, y'all. I know. You, you, I remember Ella sending me videos like years ago so of, like, of your mom like drinking like one glass of wine. And like I almost don't believe them. Like, oh I, no, it's I, very I, true. Yeah, it's ridiculous. She doesn't drink a lot. So I mean, yeah, I understand that. There's a lot of people who don't drink a lot that don't get drunk off of one glass of wine. Man, you'd be surprised. I guess. I mean, I don't. I mean, fair. I mean, yeah. I mean, everyone's different. Yeah, different tolerance. That, that's just stuff. very weird for me. I don't know because I'm not. I'm not. I'm either you can handle it or you can't. Or you can't. But even if you can't. Can't you can have more than one glass or bottle, and then like at least be a little. I've heard at two, I've heard at like two bottles or at two, two bottles. I mean two glasses. Well, two, I'm just saying like two, two oh, of two these bottles of those, or, okay, or yeah, yeah. two glass, two or three glasses of wine, of course. But one glass of wine or one bottle or one can till I collapse. <laughs> That's what she is. She's like, boom, I'm done. Yeah, I'm going to bed. It's my bedtime. It's very bad. It's like it's like a uh, Nick Cage Con Air country. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, so we get into Old Red. So there's this line out like crazy long now. So I was like, hey, excuse us, we our tables ready. Do you mind us go in front of you? So the lady was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got the booth, the where the ladies set us up. There's the doors, and then you got the other booth. And so we we were gonna walk past the first lady. And we were like, hey, our table's ready. We're going to go on in. She's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, sir. You you need to you need to stay right there. And I'm like, our, but our table. So you stay fucking put. Yeah, that was like, I was like, I'm like, our table's ready, though. <laughs> She's like, no, you, you need to check in here. I'm like, man, we already registered. Our table's ready. She's like, no, you need to check in here right now. You, you You're a fucking liar. Yeah, and she's like, they let the, she let the two people go like in. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? So she's like, what's the name? And I, like, I, right off the bat, I said Damien. But I was like, oh, wait, that's not right. I was like, yeah. uh. Like my mom was like, "What name do we use?" <laughs> I was like, "There's so many of us. What do we do?" And she's like, "Try Tammy Howard." And I'm like, "All right, try that one." The lady was like, "Yeah, you're good. Go in." And then once we got in through the doors, we had to check in again to like another one. And I'm like, "What the fuck was the whole point of this lady outside?" Yeah. I mean, like, come on. So we did. We got in. We sat down. And the mini really surprised me. Like, it's not that big. I guess because of the whole COVID stuff or whatever. Yeah, probably. But their menu was like a whole lot smaller than Chili's was. Well, you got, yeah, it is probably because of COVID. Yeah, it was, a, lot, a lot of restaurants are just like cr- cutting their menus in half. Yeah, it was crazy small. And I even looked at the lady. I'm like, this is it? And she's like, yeah, for right now. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And so we did that. I got a burger. I'm basic. 
It was still good though. I mean, I know, but like I remember going. There was nothing to go off. It was like burgers, and then Did you get burgers no matter where you go. We, we it was you, like catfish. You, there was catfish. You literally <laughs> proposed to Taylor and took her to a nice restaurant and proceeded to get a burger. Yeah, I joined you, but I wasn't the one proposing. That's very true. <laughs> like you think, like you would get like a nice, like you know, like a steak or something. Uh, no, no, not like a steak, but like a like a chicken marsala, and you know, you have a nice, like you know, bubble of boobly. Boobly. Yeah, it, but you're like. Nah, I'll just take this. Yo, know, I'll take this burger. And oh, by the way, it's a fancy ass burger. Don't get me wrong; it's it's one of those fancy ones. But you're like, yo, fuck all the fancy shit. I want lettuce, cheap, you know, well, ketchup, fancy... mustard. Oh, jeez. You're like, a, a, make it a make this burger as American as you can, basic as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, and I'm just sitting over here as a guy who loves food, just clawing my <laughs> eyes out because I'm like, damn, that burger from top to bottom is delicious, and you ruined it. <laughs> I still liked it. I thought it was great. Uh, yeah, because it was the it was the quality of the beef, man. It was the beef. The beef was really good. It's, yeah, it was, re- was really good. It was. It would have been better if you didn't become become a basic bitch that day. <laughs> because, basic Karen or something. Yeah. No, well, no. You you just decided. You know what? I'm gonna eat at Denny's today instead. That's that's how you acted. Well, they're shut down now. So I mean, well, that that yeah, that location. But yeah. Uh, you know, the, I know you're a basic bitch when it comes to burgers. Yeah. So you ordered a burger. Yeah, so we ordered a burger. Taylor ordered catfish. And my mom ordered a veggie burger because she, does, she doesn't eat meat, obviously. And we all just chilled out. And we enjoyed uh, Hayden Kaufman play. Dude, great. Great voice. I, I want to say it's, uh, I don't know if you listen to a lot of country, but he was close to like Luke Combs. Uh, well, I know I know of him, yeah. Yeah, Luke Combs. He was close to him. But I, I I was like, dude, this guy's great. I I added him on like his music to Spotify and everything. Definitely, definitely right. worth it. I think so. I like the style of music. So that was just me. And then we left, and then we drove home. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it, man. That's pretty much it. Did Gabe have fun? I mean, Gabe had fun. I guess like he never really, you know, how Gabe is. Gabe's kind of weird about his emotions, like trying to express them. He's like, you know. Yeah. I'll start struggling. Yeah. What exactly does he? What What's like his? What What What's wrong with him again? I'm not. I didn't mean to say it like that, but like. Well, I mean, yeah. What, yeah. Well, what, like I don't. I don't really know the proper way to ask that, but like, what What's his like? I think he's missing a chromosome. I can't. I can't. It, it, that's what. You, yeah, I remember. I, you talking always, about. I'm always not 100 percent sure, but I, I feel like he's missing a chromosome or chromosome deficiency. I can't English. Deficiency. Yeah, that that word. <laughs> you said it right. Oh, I did say it right. Yeah. Some words is like you know when you say them, you're not too sure about them. You're like, eh, I don't know. Okay, so missing chromosome. Okay. But I don't, I'm not saying so, like I don't think it's like a missing chromosome, or I might be like split or stun or something because it affects his speech and his height. Whatever chromosome that is, doctors, right. whatever you want to go with, that's that's so, what happens. That and uh, I don't know. It affects like his development or whatever. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. I have to ask my mom again what it is. So. So with that being said, yes. I, w- I want to put that out there before I start talking about these stories. Yes, go ahead. Because we ahead. have two. One I'm going to say, and one is about Deadpool. Now Deadpool's now, watching? Now, oh, okay. Now we're going to bring that up. But listen, I got to bring up this because I low-key think G- Gabe is a serial killer. <laughs> because he has plotted against me multiple times. Multiple times? Yeah, dude. Multiple times. And yeah, I only heard it once. But it's definitely multiple times. So let's rewind. I used to live here with Damien. And uh, this was uh, three years ago, 2017. Uh, yeah. Damn. I, all right. Let me. Uh, mm, let me catch up. It's, it's kind of rough, but you, you kind of just. Dude, it, 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 the more I drink, I hate it. You got to buckle the fuck up, pal. <laughs> I you, can't stand it. I got two left. <laughs> I'll drink. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, anyway. So. Um, so I got water. G Fuel. Not sponsored, sadly. Not yet. I feel like it's just definitely label branded Jack. I should probably turn this away before we get put down for... Oh, yeah. I should probably put I bought down. the coasters for a reason, well, damn empty. it. Like, I just, I'm like, nah, oh, I'm done with bitch. It. All right, all right. It's not how it works. All right, all right. Not how it works. All right. Yeah, should, we, fucking, I feel like we should you turn... Fucking, you fucking phony. We, I feel like we should turn it, though, because we don't want them to get us us to get taken down. They're like, Jack, they're like, we don't sponsor these Why? Guys. We're giving them free advertising. Oh, that's very true, too. I mean... Yeah, show the logo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so Jack Daniels. So talk about your serial killer of her brother. Yes. So one time, I'm staying up late at night. I don't know necessarily know what the fuck I'm doing, and I know the setting that I'm about to describe sounds like I was jerking off in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's not what I was doing. Oh, no, definitely. I, I was in. The, it was like twelve o'clock at night. I was looking at my laptop. Uh, so 
Damien was off at college at this point, but I was still living with their family. And uh, we were on a Skype call with a bunch of our friends. Uh, I think it was like two or three other of our friends. It yeah. was a big old Skype call. Again, I was not jerking off. Yeah, so I was in that, that Skype call, so I can confirm. Yeah, that. yeah, he can confirm. Uh, and he said he was jerking and, off. And he said, what, what? <laughs> no. He was rubbing a mean one out, just going down. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Fucking phony. Just hop, spit on it, give it a little. I didn't do that. Give it that extra sauce. <laughs> I'll show, I'll fuck show you extra sauce when you keep talking. All right, go ahead. Anyway, so I was, we were, we were talking, it, it was, it was, we were talking for like two or three hours. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I start. All right, so, oh yeah, rewind. I'm staying in Damien's old room, and he has a bunk bed. They don't really have the biggest house, but um, the bedroom, uh, they have a bunk bed. And you know, I'll take what I can get. I need somewhere to live. So I'm on the bottom bunk, and his brother is on the top bunk. And I'm sitting there, you know, throughout the night. I'm thinking his ass is asleep the entire time. Boy, was I wrong. Oh, see, I thought you were on the top. No. Oh, okay. I, I usually am. But uh, missionary all the way. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, all I hear is bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Take out my earbuds. What the fuck is going on? I'm like, did you all did you all hear that? They're like, I think. What the fuck was that? Uh. <laughs> Dylan's gonna die. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I'm looking up and they're like, we heard that. Yeah. And I remember just cracking Joe. I'm like, dude, this motherfucker is is like planning to fuck is plotting against me right now. Didn't like, he go like full in? Like he started like explaining. He was pretending he was rob or he was dreaming about robbing a bank, but holding me hostage. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But something like that. He yeah. decided to off me instead. <laughs> Because that's what he really wants. And just grab another hostage. He <laughs> wants to off me. No. The bank robber went to go rob the bank, grabbed a hostage, killed me, and said, you know what? That's worth it more than the money. <laughs> oh, so he was the cop. No, he was the bank robber. Oh. He was going to go rob the bank. He took me as a hostage, killed me, and said, that's worth it than any of the money I was about to steal. And then... Out. Knocked. <sighs> So he, he just needed to stay awake long enough to murmur to words. murder me, and I remember making I remember making jokes about it, and then I remember you hanging up because you were mad. I got mad at one point. Yeah, I don't I don't remember why. I, I think I was so confused on why you were mad at me. I don't I don't know why either. Like I think I was trying to mess with you. I don't think I was actually mad. Cause I, nah, you were mad. Was that no? Yeah, I don't you, think I was nah, mad. you were mad because no, nah, because you went you went. We're like stop joking about it. I'm like, why am I gonna stop joking about someone trying to fucking murder me, especially your brother? Yeah. Your brother literally was like. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> like he, he, I can imagine Gabe was thinking like he was like six foot five, had his fucking hand around my throat, probably like, the fucking Glock in my in, in my temple. He's like, probably like Arnie off of Predator. Yeah, <laughs> Alien. My no, yeah, Predator. Predator I, need, yeah. I need to Photoshop that. Just, just all swell up. I'm chest strong. Butt. I'm strong. Uh, but uh, so yeah, your your brother is an interesting fellow. He very is. He, but he has more than one story. He is yes. He has a Deadpool. Oh, you want me to go into the yeah, Deadpool? One? Yeah, oh, you got it. You, it, you it, it the best. It is my story. Okay. So me and Taylor, Taylor's my fiance, obviously, and we stayed the night up at our house. And when Deadpool two came out, they had that giant poster at Seven Eleven. My dad does yeah, the promotional shit. Yeah, everywhere. yeah. My dad had my dad does a paper run, so they were like, he was like, "Hey, do you mind if I have that?" They're like, "Yeah, go ahead, take it. It's cool." So he had that in his room, and we were sleeping on the bottom. They kind of this, this is the same room that I just told my previous yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. See, but they upgraded. They didn't have bunk beds anymore. They had like that that one. I know. Bed. As soon as I fucking left, they said, "Yo, we're gonna get some nice shit in here." Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, guys? Yeah, they got the bed with a little pull out slide with a little mattress. So mm -hmm. me, me and Taylor were on that. And it was early in the morning, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to pull a quick one in. And <laughs> Gabriel's asleep. And I convinced Taylor. I was like, yo, Gabe's asleep. This is, let's do this. And next thing you know, I'm on top. And this whisper comes over my ear. And this goes, hey, <laughs> Deadpool's watching. 
And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? And I'm still like going like doing like the little thrust as I'm like, what? In the as you're fuck? looking at Deadpool. And I'm like, what in, the, what in the fuck is going on here? Like this. Is he really? And then you look over, you're, you're not even worried about Gabe. You're probably looking at Deadpool like, is he really? And yeah, like what the fuck is going on here? And I, I still did my business and. I was I was done. I was like, anyway, anyway, with your brother in the room, with my brother in the room. You, what the fuck? With my brother in the room, we had the covers on. It wasn't like we were bare ass naked. She still had a shirt on. I still had my shirt on. It was like a quick like Christian, a Christian fuck. It was like a Christian mingle. Yeah, it was christianmingles dot com type of deal. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't I don't approve of this at all. Uh, I think you scarred him for life, honestly. He's probably like, man, you guys fucking each other in the belly button. Like, what what's wrong with? I don't know. I, no, I, he do, sent do, dick pics. Do, 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 what? Oh, dude, you don't know about that? I think I do remember this. I, I God. I feel like we're going to spend most of our time bashing my little brother. Like, <laughs> like, fuck gonna, him. Fuck him. He's going to wa- watch this from year, like, years later. He's like, <sighs> he's crying yeah, because just, of, hey, man, it's all in love. All yeah, in love. Yes. yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell that story another time. We should probably move on to something else. How, no. long, how long have we been on this? Plenty. It's probably oh, just send it as long as we want. All right, we're yeah. Oh, hand me another one, Dylan. Wow. So keep. All right, continue. I will continue my story, but you hop off screen for a second. So, uh, how this happened was, my brother sent a dick pic to some girl. I don't think he even liked the chick, but he sent it. He was like, you know what? I'm I'm sending it, and it got back to my other sister, Faith. It got back to her. Somehow, <laughs> your family, man. Somehow. <laughs> and the girl was like, hey, I think this is your cousin. He sent me a dick pic. And my sister's like, why would I want this? Like, even if I was really, why would you send it? She was like, I just thought you would know, you should know. And like, you could have said it without sending the pic. You could, yeah, it was, it's, you could just, it's, it's just a comment. Yeah. You don't have to be like, and here's the proof. Yeah. Like, you know, here's the evidence. Like, Saying it was enough for us. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah, and so it's like I believe you. You don't believe me? No, I'm, 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 I'm saying, saying I believe yeah. you. Well, here, here you go. <laughs> yeah. So they sent it to. She sent it to her, and then she sent it to me and Ella. Well, she didn't send it to me. She sent it to Taylor and Ella. And then I saw it. I was like, I don't want to see my brother's dick. This is weird. <laughs> why, why do I need to see my brother's dick? Like, I, I don't care. And so. Now I now know what my brother's dick is. So, <laughs> so are you proud? No, I'm not proud of it. Uh, God I, damn it! Like, why? Why do I want to see my brother's dick? No, no, no. Are you proud of? Is, is he? Is he? You know, he pumped down there? No, I just thought, like did like a quick glance. I was like, oh god, <laughs> that's that's a penis. <laughs> I saw the head and I was like, oh, that's enough for me. I'm uh, out. It's talking. <laughs> it looked me right in the eye. <laughs> it's fucking like, Yo, what's up, homie? Yeah, like, let's get out of here. So. That and then oh, I forget what we I don't know what it was, but we all got together and I was like, Gabriel, what in the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> and I told I told my dad uh, What was going through your fucking mind? I was like, I thought I raised him better than this. I have never ever sent a dick pic. I've never asked a girl for nudes until Taylor. Wow. Yes. I'm a very because I feel like it's like if you ask for nudes, you gotta be willing to send them. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> you, you you don't you don't re- see. I'm a gentleman. Like if a girl's like, if I'm like, hey, send me some. I mean, I don't really ask. Send me some nudes, girl. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. just a little, little bite the lip thing. I don't. No, I don't do that. I'm not saying like that, but you're thinking it. I don't do that because you know, I have to read at least three pages of the Bible every single day before bed. Every day. You don't even have a Bible, I bet. Um. I didn't say I had to own one. I could just look it up online. Oh, jeez. Um, and the edited version. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, they edit it every fucking year, so it doesn't really or like every so often. They yeah, go, this, is, this is the new that's what, yeah, version. Yeah, that's what I'm, anyway, I'm that not the gonna, old, I'm old testament. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get into religion, but I always, on, I always find that you know oh, what uh, is the it? Smell, I caught the big hole. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> gotta let it fucking ferment, fermentate or whatever. Yeah, yeah I better put that back said. down. Let it, let it, let it ferment a little bit longer. Like a fine wine. And uh, so that, and then my dad was like, "What?" And then, like, nope, he didn't. He didn't say it like that. Oh, I don't know. No, he didn't say it like that. How did he say it then? 
Steve? Oh, damn it. I thought it was your real dad. Oh, hey, hey. What? What? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't do it well enough, yeah. No, <laughs> See, about my mom, Damien, and dad here. This is how we real shine. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, uh, can, you, can you drive me home? Uh, grab me some uh, bootleggers uh, on the way home. Uh, 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 okay, get some money. Here you go. You know what I like? Hey, I'll give you 10 bucks for, for, for four bootleggers, but you know how many you want to bring home? Five. Yeah, five. Yeah, <laughs> grab five. Uh, I only give you money for four, but you better bring me home five, boy. <laughs> That's your fucking dad. Oh, yeah, hands down. But anyways, my stepdad, he was like, what in the hell? And he just went off. He was like, what in the, what are you doing here, pal? And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'll what are just, you doing, sport? Yeah, I just, I just could That just caught me off guard. That's about it for, for that. Nothing much ever happened. After that. He tried throwing me under the bus. He was like, "Yeah, Damien sent dick pics." I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, there, pal! Hold on, <laughs> hold on, don't." <laughs> did he try to fucking? He, he was like, he pulled an ullo. That's what he did. He pulled an ullo. He tried throwing me. He under. did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they're like, listen, like, because you're probably so far like one of the more. How do I say this without trying to be like a dick? You're you. From where you were, you've come a long way. So like when they when they when they do bad things, they immediately point at you because they think, Well, I'm gonna be as good as he is. I think my bad things mostly happen like what do you want to say, college where I did a lot of dumb shit? High school. You did dude, you did dumb shit in high school. Oh dude, time. hands down high school, dude. I I can't even count. I mean, we both did dumb but, yeah. but we both have what one well, I'm not I'm not by the way, I'm not counting. UTI. But like we we had like what both one year of college, <laughs> technically. Uh, I mean you have to count UTI if you. I to understand say. that, but like I'm talking like that. That's if, a, if that's, you went it's just a technical school, it's like it's like, it's specifically four cars. I'm talking. But if you like, went I'm college, like no, I went legit college. Oh no, like legit college. I went like three months. Yeah, I, I think I, I actually at least I got a full fucking year. Yeah, you got it. a full year. I went to a technical school. I mean, that's a little. I graduated from that. So. I, I understand. It's still a college, but you well, know yes, what I mean. Yeah, it's not. It, 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 it's not. It's not a traditional like anything. It's not even like a. Community. Don't even get me started on traditional colleges. I think they're fucking stupid. Because like why? Like I I get it for like some stuff like studies and like. But if I'm trying to focus on like a certain study, why do I have to take another study that's like way out there? I don't get it either. Yeah, like you that's know why I, mean? I think technical schools in the next. I'd. Like I, I really I mean, mean I don't think colleges are I don't think normal colleges are ever gonna go away, at least for the foreseeable oh, no, no, future. No. But I think like schools overseas, don't they do it like uh like Germany and all them, like they'll have like Sweden like I know like they're smaller countries, obviously. They, like people compare them like they're like, Oh, this country did it, like United States should be able to do it. Like, no, like they have like maybe maybe eight hundred thousand people. Like we well, have it's like I understand because they want to. I understand, but I don't understand. I understand because they want to give you a broad, a broad like a, like a, they want to give you more than just the education you're looking for. But at the same time, that costs money and time that you could be putting into your career, which could make you better for a job opportunity. See that that's what so, I'm saying. Like that. Like for me, for like what I wanted to like I wanted to go, I, and if I still have the opportunity, I'll go. But I wanted to go to Full Sail. And Full Sail does specifically, like, they do what you are, want to do. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't, like, if you want to do film, you don't deal with fucking science. No. Like, shit like, you don't deal with biology. Do I think some of those things are needed because you just need to know? Maybe like a little sure. intro to help expand, like... But, like, even like in a high taste. school. Even in high school, man. Like, we didn't... We didn't know the basic fundamentals of fucking life. Like there was never a life class. I mean, and there, is, of, and there isn't in most in most schools. I mean, there kind of was, but we spent most of our time in front of our a computer to learn those yeah, do, life doing doing modules. And, yeah, but like and that, that doesn't help. It was you. so boring because like we just sat there in front of the computer. I like the teacher explained to us like, "Hey, this is how an interest rate." I didn't know uh, how to write a check until I was twenty. Really? See, I didn't. And, have, and, that, and that's maybe that's just me. Yeah. I never really had. I never really had to. No, no. And you're, maybe you're for some people, it's self-explanatory. But like for me, I didn't know because. I was I, my parents never taught me because my parents probably assumed I was taught school or whatever, yeah. and no way in hell. Like I took personal finance; they didn't teach us that shit. They didn't teach. I took personal finance before most people took it around junior or senior year. I took it my f sophomore year. I, I, I know, but a lot of people take it. Like when I was in school, like, they were taking it the later on. They took yeah. that because it was like the boring class. I took it straight out the gate. I, I took it my first semester of high school. Well, what was the what was uh Coach Morgan's class? Huh? What was Coach Morgan's class? Personal finance. Well, then what was Coach Price's class? Also personal finance. They both taught it. 
They both taught it. Just different times of the day. Yeah, but no, one was something else. One was like... Uh, personal business. That might have been what it was, and the other one was personal. Yeah, but like even so... like See, I took both, because you were required you, to take both those classes. But personal finance... Personal finance didn't teach you shit. See, I learned how to do... I write checks in there. Like, I mean, I already kind of knew, but he kind of went over it a little bit more. Yeah, but like... it. I, I, yeah, I kind of I kind of see why. Because kind of, like, we watched uh, Super Size Me. I didn't know anything about fucking checking accounts or savings accounts or anything. Like... It was just basically in the, in another math class. It was just teaching you how much to put away and shit like that. But like, how can you not teach your students the simple things in life? Like, hey, you're gonna struggle when you go to college unless you have bukus of money. Oh, speaking of college, <laughs> a guy did not know how to make ramen noodles. That you went to school with? Yeah, that I went to school with. Why? Because he was that privileged. I don't know if he was that privileged, but he was from New Jersey. Oh. Yeah, I might explain it. So when I was at ODU... <laughs> Man, you just dissed everybody who's from New Jersey. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Fuck him. Aaron's from New Jersey. <laughs> I don't care. Fuck him. <laughs> so... <laughs> no, you don't, don't say that. And so... You don't say that. <laughs> we... we uh, I was chilling in the lobby where like the microwaves were. And this dude, I don't know if he was trying to like get the girls. I really doubt it. I really feel like he did not know because he was like, oh, that's how you do it. And um, he had the block, put it in the bowl, and he he threw it in the microwave, set the timer, and it started going. And one of the girls called him like, yo, yo, what are you doing? He's like, I'm making ramen. <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm making ramen here. She's like, is there any water? And he's like, no, why would I put water in it? And the girl's like, and she stopped right You're away. And she's like, and yeah she's like put ramen in this put water in this and i'm like what the fuck did I you just... haven't made ramen before just so you know you're if you did you're lying to me yeah and i'm like how has this man never made like everyone's made ramen at least one point in their life and it should have yeah. been at least once i just, guess i don't know I guess we're that poor <laughs> you know what's poor hmm? the theater industry yeah, that's a hell of a segue. Oh, they're struggling. They're struggling. Did, did you segue, did you did you hear what happened uh, uh, about with, Warner Bros. and AMC? Is that, well, what, you're, is that what you're about well, to talk about? Warner Brothers. So let me let me uh, let oh, me yeah, explain. explain. So HBO Warner Brothers has officially announced that all of 2021's films that were slated to release are all going to be released on HBO Max for 30 days. For free? At, the, at the release date, if you're a subscriber, and they'll also be in theaters at the same time. That that's hard, especially for a guy like me. Now, I understand a lot of average consumers. Like I was debating with Aaron at the, with this at work. He loves this, the idea of it. He loves it because he he's like times are changing, shit like that, and I I 100 percent get that. I, I get that point of view. But coming from someone like me who loves the movie experience more than fucking anything, like you we've been to we've gone to movies for fucking years. So many, so many. You can't get an Avengers Endgame experience for the first time from your couch. I don't believe that for a fucking second. I feel like those types of movies like Dune, I feel like Dune should be watched in the theater. I'm really excited I, about Dune. Here's here, here's my thing. I would have, and I'm also excited about Dune. Dune, you, you are a crazy person if I'm not going to go see Dune in theaters. Right? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, this, like the the freaking giant worm coming out of the, I was like, what is good? What I would have done. I've never read the book, though. So. Well, I know, what, I know what they're trying to do because, because as of right now, HBO Max is a shit show. Oh, it's, really? It's a, dude, it's a shit show. There's like nothing on there. At least they have Game of Thrones. I, I mean, finished watching I mean, that. I sure. Like, do they have? And you know, people are going to correct me. Do they have things? Yeah, but they don't have. I, yeah, they have Game of Thrones, but it's over. They don't have, as of right now, like a Mandalorian. And granted, that's the only thing that Disney Plus has right now is a Mandalorian. But and Milan now that just came out, but that failed miserably because they charge people. Yeah, no, I think it's free now. Like I just saw it's free now, but when they they tried a new model, and I understand why they tried it, it the, failed. They were trying to make, which was so dumb. Like, I, like a, they should have seen that coming. Like, I see they were trying. Some people probably I, I, did buy it. Oh, they did. It made it, but it lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Wow, it, it was a test. 
and and it failed. I, don't, I don't blame them for testing. They, they attempted it. Yeah, they make Disney and all them. They test things all the time for millions of dollars that people like us don't even know about, and it fails all the time. This was just something that we know about. But don't they just like? Can't they just write that off as a loss, especially like during this time, like COVID? I mean, I, mean I don't, I, I I don't know the logistics of that. Okay, so I can't say. But that was a test. That's resource related, and they and they failed. So Warner Brothers is looking at that, going, okay. So we can't charge people, at least not yet. So they just thought, because like I said, they're releasing all their films for free uh, for 30 days. So it's like, it's only for 30 days until like a couple months later, then they can put it back on. What if they do like a, like a cheap thing? What if they do like cheaper, like it's five bucks? Five bucks, like a uh, subscription? No, no, or no, like no. if they if they For were to the charge extra, I was like, talking about, like, I was no. I was talking about that I was talking about that with Aaron and he was talking and I and we came up with price like I think it, most people would be like willing to spend it's five nine 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 because that's about a ticket but see that's why that's why I went five is because like you lose that theater experience you know with that surround see, and everything and, like that you see and people I understand people's point of view. Because Disney was charging them thirty bucks a head for Milan like to buy it I'm like what. It was oh, and they also like a couple weeks later made it available on Amazon to buy it for for cheaper. So really? like, well, I yeah. missed that one. So yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, just to this could be a good thing and a bad thing, but for theaters, this is just it, they're it's devastating. They're, it's gonna, they're dead. Yeah, they're gosh. especially um, the small ones. So as of right now, from what I was reading, that so for example, right now the theater takes a cut, not a big cut, but a cut from the ticket sales. Most of them, money but, most can... of them but most of them go to the actual movies. Yeah. Uh, because the, the movie theaters don't make money off the tickets. They make they money make off the food. Merchandise, yeah. Um, and so as of right now, the cut of that movie that they were originally getting Does is it... increased. Oh, okay. So the, so the people who are making the movie are taking less money from the theaters. They're getting the money from their services, but they're not getting the money from the theaters. So you think off the top that, okay, that just raises their profits then. Not necessarily because you still have to have those people go in droves. I, if, I, if it was me, because they, they did this because of Disney Plus saying mm-hmm. that they're going all in on streaming. Yeah. If it was up to me, I would have done like half. So Because there's some of those movies that I'm not going to go see. I, look, I know there's fans of Tom and Jerry. I know there's fans of Tom and Jerry, the live action movie, yeah. or or who are excited to see that. That's definitely I, a kid movie. Like, but that's that not something I'd go. I'd be willing to see. That's something you can release. Hell, at the biggest movie I'd probably release on there would probably be the Third Conjuring movie. Like that's a good way to entice people to like, hey, come on in. Yeah, like, Third Conjuring movie. I mean, they have the Snyder cut of Justice League coming out. In a couple I'm super months. excited about that. Me too. They have a lot of things coming, and I don't think that. In the long run, for theaters, it was it's not going to work out for theaters. Just just throwing that out there. No matter how it ends up, this is not good for theaters because the only the only thing that's going to be good for the short term is the people who want to go to the theaters, and this is why. So, say if I want to go see Suicide Squad, the next one uh, by James Gunn. What's that come out like twenty twenty two? Next year. It's 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 included in the slate. Oh, it is included in. The, okay, okay. Yeah. So there, it's. It, Godzilla versus King Kong is on the slate. That's do you under, but do you understand like those that movie is not something I want to see on my TV for the first time. Yeah. I want to see that in the fucking IMAX theater with like the surround sound. And I understand people's point of view of I don't like the movie theater. I have bad experiences when I go there. People talk, people, you know, fuck with their f- phones and shit. I get that. But at the same time, there's something about when you go to an Avengers movie or a DC movie in there, or a Star Wars movie, and there's a crowd of people who at certain points in the movie are, respectfully, are just cheering when there's good moments. Oh, when Cat picked up the hammer. When people are sad in sad moments. There's something about that to me that it nothing tops that. At the end of Endgame... When every when you know they're doing the the signatures of all the cast members, and everyone's cheering at every part, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, that was beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I just, but, you and and I feel and you know I I, I watched Chris Stuckman's video on this. 
I think I re- like I agree with him a hundred percent. I retain more from a movie while watching it in theaters because the experience is more memorable. I can see. I remember almost every movie I've seen in the theaters where I was sitting and that this and that when because of the experience, even bad movies. I've seen bad movies like I've walked out of a couple movies. I've walked out of Daddy's Home because fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> With the uh, second one, I. No, the first one. And I wasn't even giving the second one. I I try to forget they ever made a second one. I saw the first one at the one in Woodstock. God, I have a, I have a story. I have, so I have, do I. I have a story about that uh, one. Too. Right. We'll come back to that one. Um, What was it? Uh, Hitman's Bodyguard. And I know people like that movie. I don't. They're coming out with a second one with that one, too. And I'm probably not going to see that either. That's just my opinion, though. This is my opinion. And the third one, which was most recent, Tenet. You did it. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Because they, I couldn't fucking hear them. I couldn't hear them at all. That movie's sound design, that movie's writing. I don't know any of the fucking characters in that goddamn movie. I don't know their names. I know the actors' names. I don't know the fucking plot details. I know they're trying to stop World War Three. That's all I fucking know. I don't know what happened. I still don't know what happened. I've read on the movie, and I still don't know what the fuck happened. I mean, I like Christopher Nolan's idea about it. That looked really cool. Christopher Nolan, I, as I, I love his movies, but he's a stubborn bastard. Because look, almost everybody universally, even who people who like the movie, yeah. People who like the movie said, listen, man, your sound design's a little off. I think you need to improve that. I don't believe there's nothing wrong with my sound design. Really? He well, said he that. didn't say this exact word, but like... He was thinking it. But no, I just kind of summarized what he said. I can't... Uh, I, I don't have the quote with me, but... I probably should bring up the quote, but in 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 the in the short term, he basically said that. He basically said... He, he doesn't agree. It's, I think he said something about artistic vision. Um... There's nothing about artistic vision that's I I shouldn't have I understand with certain parts of the movie I'm not going to understand everything that's going on. Sometimes that's meant on purpose. Yeah. Like you can't hear things. Sometimes things are mumbled in like a scene where like people are running or whatever. I get that. And they're saying something. But when two people are just having a simple conversation and I can't fucking hear a goddamn word, that is bad. Wow. I turned to Nadine and I'm like, "Do you know what the fuck is happening?" Your, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I was like, I've been sitting, I've been literally sitting at a screen just staring at this thing. And I was like, as soon as we get the check, we're leaving. And I, 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 I got the guy, and I'm like, check, please. He goes, Real, this early. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, 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 I am <laughs> so looking forward to this drive home. Like I was, because it was my first movie. And like it might be my last movie, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, it was the first movie I've seen in fucking months, man. Because the last movie before that I saw was Invisible Man, and that was a great movie. That was a surprisingly good it was movie. Amazing. I saw made they, for four four or five million dollars, I think. Um, yeah, it was by Bloomhouse, wasn't mm-hmm. it? They do a lot of cheap movies that do really good. But uh, you can't. But going off that, there's only a couple movies I walked out of. But I love the fucking movie experience so much. Beautiful, beautiful movie. Experience. And it's gonna die. That's why when I get my house or whenever that happens, I want to have a home theater. I'm not. I'm not talking a fucking seventy inch TV, which I have. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking that. I'm talking like a hundred and twenty inch projector with like some good surround sound, Dolby digital surround sound, or fu- what, what's it? I think it's. Dolby, I don't know. It's some fancy Atmos. Dolby Atmos. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I want some Dolby Atmos speakers. I want some nice fucking recliner. I want those. I want I want those movie theater recliners, man. I want. I want to feel like I don't. If the movie theaters die, I'm bringing its legacy with me, motherfucker. <laughs> so, and don't get me wrong. I'm gonna watch some of these movies on HBO Max. But like I said, I was gonna do that anyway for some of them. But like Wonder Woman, for example, I'm gonna go see Wonder Woman in theaters. If, if it if, does, if, if if they're available, and I think they are, uh, and I, you know I'll wear a mask and shit like that. That's coming out in December, ain't it? Christmas. Yeah. Did you know that Christmas is the time of the year where most people go see movies, like on Christmas Day? Like later on, probably in the day. No, I would, Obviously, duh. But yeah. like Christmas Day, the most people go out and watch movies. 
out of any day of the year. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It, that's consistently, though. Huh. So. Good call. Good call. I'm upset. It is sad. Are we going to be like those people that like, kids today don't know what it was like. Yeah. To wait in line. Yeah. We had to wait in line for fucking far from home. Remember that? Far from home. What was it far from home? Force no, no, Awakens. No, 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 no. Well, we no, we did, we did, uh, we did wait in line for Force. We were the first ones in line for Force Awakens. We were early. We were like three hours early, weren't we? <laughs> oh yeah, this was right before the Alamo got um, the uh, signed like, seats. Yeah, because the theaters near us for the longest time were like the last ones on Earth who didn't have seats. Which was seated. beautiful because I thought it was well, like amazing. Well, no, they're not, they probably went. The it was. Line. It's good and bad because. Yeah. It's good for people who don't mind waiting, because I don't mind waiting. Oh, I don't mind. Like, if you have a group of people with you to enjoy... Who gives a fuck? But if, like, if you were by yourself, I could kind of see why I, you I, I, Yeah, or just you and, like, your girlfriend or just one other person. Hot I can fucking kinda, loser. I can kind of <laughs> get that. But, um... But, there's... Man, I'm just going to really miss it. Because there's a, that, that experience of like waiting in line. I think those theaters would be Talking about right, the though. movies and like going to experience like, what do what were you going to say? I said, I think though, I feel like those big movie theaters will be all right. They'll struggle. Don't get me wrong. They'll AMC's the biggest theater chain in the world and they're on their last breath. No shit. Dude, wow. their stock has gone down so much. Well, just because your stock goes down doesn't mean. Well, that I'm only adding that. Like, they, because right before COVID, they took a big chunk of debt to put things back into their theaters, reclining seats. Oh, and then all this happened. That's it that was, was just that. It is the we, it was the uh, worst fucking timing. Well, they'll probably do like a probably what will happen probably like a bailout, like the recession, like bail out those big companies. Because if you think about like that, that's something maybe. maybe but I, I mean, because I, I thought I thought Amazon was going to buy them, honestly. That really surprises me because, like, that's what like aggravates me the most about California and this whole COVID thing, is just like other countries. Again, this is hypothetical about the schooling thing because other countries are smaller than us, so like it it skews the information. But like, even they are like handling it a whole lot better than we are. I get it. Like some people, because I'm I'm one of those people. It's like because I did the math. It's like a two percent chance of you dying, and again, most of the people that die from COVID are. Old, and I get it. You don't want to give it to your grandparents and stuff like that. But like to shut down, do I think the whole world for this? I well, I think another shutdown will will hurt us. Oh, hands down, it hurts because the first one didn't work. Why do you expect the second? Like if the first one worked, why do we? Why are we having a second one? And if the first one didn't work, do you expect the second one to work? I mean, it just, look, don't it's get like me, a catch twenty two, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I've. And I and I know people. A lot of people around me, around here, I don't even know if you necessarily agree with me. I don't. I don't think. I think it's something that we should take seriously. But at the same time, I think it's something we should have taken seriously when it happened, and nobody did. No, everyone was afraid about their toilet paper. Everyone stocked up on food. Why? <laughs> everyone was worried about the wrong thing, and they were. We all make jokes lot, about it. A lot of people were selfish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you find like true character of people during yeah during during that time is because like that's when you you really find the true character of people. And then like, but even California, they're about to shut down again. Like the the governor is trying to be like, hey, yo, shut this shit down. Like a lot of people are leaving California, which I don't, I don't blame him on that. But like, I, I see his standpoint is like he doesn't want people to die, but at the same you you, you can't. This is like again on the COVID thing is like. Some people are gonna get real butthurt about this. Well, fuck you. The if you there's a chance of you dying, just hopping in my car, like me getting my car and driving. Yes, the, the percentage is less than like getting COVID, but I haven't got COVID. And like me and you dying, it's less. It's it's mostly it's kind of like the flu. It affects the older people. I'm like I'm not a doctor, so I could what I could be saying is wrong. Know, don't don't take it to I, heart. I know, like, but just so you're aware, people who aren't old. Do get it? And Can have die. It. Yes, it, it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a thing. Like you, you, there's that risk with anything. Like me personally, like if I have a ninety eight percent chance to survive that, and my kids have a ninety nine percent chance of surviving it, you better believe I'm gonna take that risk. Like anybody in their mother, if they heard that, day, like I know, but just that, just, that, just just giving you just giving you a hypothetical. Yeah. For example, I know a lot of I I know someone specifically whose mother isn't well. 
So if I have COVID and I don't even know it and I and give, you it, give to it to them, him. who then proceeds to give it to them, me and my, my, my friend might be okay. But his mother may not. Won't be. It almost or is, his sister is a or whoever it is. It, it's almost know. a guarantee they won't be. Well, that, so, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's that's the risk you gotta you gotta take with things. Like I I get it. Like even my kids and my little brother. My little brother is like one of those people in that little that little data area where you could be like he's at a risk because of his heart condition and all that. Doesn't mean me or anybody in my family is gonna be like we're gonna shut down our fucking lives for for you like we we get it like we're gonna do our best to keep away from you but like what happens is gonna happen like you're gonna be okay we're gonna do the things we, because like they said flu-like symptoms and all that because it's a virus yeah okay i get that they're working on a vaccine right now they're already like shipping it out are you gonna take it the vaccine yeah no i don't give a fuck i haven't i haven't took my flu sh- i'm not one of those people that like oh they're gonna put a tracking chip in me I, like i'll take it if i take it but if i don't i don't i'm not i'm not too sure I can guarantee you most places are going to require you to take it anyway. See, my thing is... I guarantee you a job like what you have, which I'm not going to talk about, but uh, I guarantee yeah, you a job like you have, it's good, you know, it involves food, they're probably going to make you. And See, my, my thing is, like, because they posted a thing about the flu shot, they take your flu shot, like... The same. And uh, you do that... I feel like the same thing with like the PlayStation and Xbox is like, even though they kind of worked out the bugs for the most part and stuff until they actually like ship it off to people and they test it a little bit more and like, Oh, there's some problems we need to fix still. And they fine tune the, uh, the vaccine or whatever. I get it. You're waiting. For, I guess what you're saying is you're waiting for, but I, I Cause you got those people that are guinea pigs that are FDA and stuff but, like that. But you have to understand it. The same. It's already been FDA approved. Yeah. The FDA approves a lot of stuff that kills people. Like that's what I'm saying. Like that's but, what, but, at, but at the same time, the vaccines that you have in you right now have been proven to be less effective. I got those vitamin gummies. Don't you fucking doubt me? <laughs> but, but you have to understand those 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 vaccines that are in you right now. Yeah. Some of them have been proven to be technically less effective than the COVID vaccine. Yeah. The COVID vaccine, as of what I last checked, was 95 percent successful. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, but then again, that's what I'm saying about that 98%. So, that, like, that's a higher chance. That's a 5% chance of it not working. And then 98% chance of someone being okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're both high percentages, but like you just said, 95% chance of it being effective is fucking fantastic. But you have a 98% chance of surviving COVID. So, what's the bad thing in taking the vaccine? I didn't say there was nothing bad in it, but they're, I don't know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a doctor, I don't know if they're gonna, like, do what they would do with the flu, like, they afraid do. of needles, bitch? No, I'm not afraid of needles, but, like, I don't know if they, like, I don't know if they do what they do with the flu, or, like, they, they inject, like, a little bit of it with the antibodies and all that stuff to fight it, like, they'll give you, like, a sample. It's just, I, from what I read, uh, I could be wrong. Yeah. But what, from what doctors. I read, it's a, just a shot, you come back in two weeks, you're, but th- that first shot is good enough to, f- f- it's good enough but the second shot you come back for two weeks later is to help stabilize it for good. See, that's what I'm saying. So they do, they probably do inject a little bit of it into you to see how your body reacts to it and stuff like that. Right. But all, but the tests that have been done on hundreds of people, there's none of those symptoms. I think at most I read was a, was a headache, yeah, but, which, the, but I, I've seen worse with the things that are in us right now. I, oh yeah. Hands down. I'll definitely, I mean, if it does come down to it, I'll, I guess I'll take it. I'll see what happens. I'll wait it out. I'm I mean, f- it's gonna I'm, be. It's uh, for most people. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna be the I, first. Well, person. I'll tell you that hands gonna down. Be, it's gonna be free. It's free. Yeah. The, the government made a deal. It's going to be free. Like I said, I'm gonna wait a while. I'm one of those like conspiracy conspiracy theorists. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not like I'm not like way out there where I'm like they're gonna put tracking chips in us. Like I'm like, look, they're still early on. I know like it's been almost a year, but they're still kind of like working the bugs out, and they're gonna the FDA approved it. Yes. I'm going to see how it affects a bunch of other people first, and then I'm going to be like, all right, read it. I'm going to be a guinea pig. Well, you be a guinea pig. That's fine by me. I'll get your information off of it, and I'll be like, all right, either I'll take it or I won't. I'm going to be a guinea pig because I'll be the first one to be able to hold up a note saying, I'm COVID at, I'm COVID free, bitch, and then I can do whatever the fuck I want. I don't have to wear a mask. I don't have to do any of that shit. I think they'll still make you wear a mask. I doubt Because uh, doesn't Joe Biden have like a, like a you have a 100-day? Because I saw this thing where he has like a 100-day thing you have to wear your mask or some shit. 
I was reading it on the yeah, but if you have a but that's but oh that's hands all down. that's that's all in place. But you have to say those those regulations and stuff as of right now are in place without a vaccine. When, with a vaccine in play, which is probably going to start happening and start you know going out to people within the next two to three weeks. Yeah, but we're not but we're not going to see the total effect. Damn, you're downing these, dude. You make me look like a bitch right now. <sighs> I mean, it's not fantastic, but like I said, it's, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's fantastic, but I'm like, it, it. I can. I feel like they're syruping a little bit. Like it has like that weird, like sticky taste. You know, what I'm saying? I hate the cola part. Yeah, it's um, like a cheap. But anyways, like I bet you, hands down, like I called it too, like early on, like if Trump loses the election, they're gonna kill. He lost. He did lose, and guess what? They're like, oh, here's the vaccine. And I bet you, hands down, almost everybody's be like, it's thanks to the Biden administration. Oh, it's, it's, it's 100% it's, gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And like, I'm not saying but Trump's... At the end, but at the end of the day, it didn't matter who was president. Yeah, because they anyway, were... Rushed, I, don't, I don't know why one person... Like, could affect... like. The I'm medical, not thinking Trump. Yeah. I'm not thinking Biden. I'm thinking of whoever was doing the medicine. Like, yeah. like the, scient, <laughs> the scientists behind that, because like... And I bet there's gonna be some people that live like, oh, they were waiting for Biden to win, and then the scientists were like, oh, we are, we already have our cure. Like, no, scientists. That's to the thing, to like, be honest, I don't even care about it that much. Scientists have like their own like thing. Like, I, I care about if you have it or not. That's all I care about. Look, I, don't, I, I don't even look. If the vaccine works, I don't give a fuck about what your motive was. If it works, it works, and if yeah, it doesn't yeah, kill yeah, me, yeah. it doesn't kill me. I don't care. If, if hell, I'll let you have your little agenda for right now. Just give me the vaccine so I can go to fucking Walmart. What if it's like the Kingsman where they like. You take the vaccine, but Loki is like a little bomb. Beep, 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 beep. Well, they're just gonna pull a Suicide Squad on our ass. <laughs> Fuck. Um, that won't happen, but it is what it is. We should. We should... Am I a little scared? A little bit, but I mean, what haven't we dealt with this year? That like, well, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's it, can, it can only be better from here. Yeah, like we lost. We lost James Bond. We lost Smokey and the Bandit. I mean, they were both old as fuck. I mean, it was bound to happen. <laughs> like, you, know who, you know who else lost? Who? The Dallas fucking Cowboys. <sighs> what was it? 41 to like 14 or some shit? Dude. How was a whipping? I just want to like... If, if the Redskins beat... Oh, I'm sorry. The Washington football team beat the Steelers, we win the division. Hands down. That, that's, that's all it'll take. I just want to like... Which ain't get, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I believe in Alex Smith, the game manager, and that defense. So, my partner across from me is a Washington football team fan, and I am a Dallas Cowboys. Don't fan. Don't forget about the St. Louis Rams, which aren't the St. Louis Rams anymore. They're also you're not a Rams fan. I'm a you're, Kurt Warner. You're I'm a, a Kurt, Kurt Warner, Warner fan. Kurt Warner, baby. Anyway, um, the the Cowboys. The this this the big D the D stands for disappointment. Oh, hands down. <laughs> because that's all I've felt since the year I was born. Did you know? I think the the year I was born was you know how we ever talked about the '90s Cowboys, the '90s Cowboys. The year I was born, I think the Cowboys did the worst out of all the '90s. Makes sense because I was born, motherfucker. What didn't they win the Super Bowl like the year before too? Though like '96 or '95. I think it was 95 they won it or 96. Yeah, 95. 95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Green Bay won the year I was born. But um, Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm Brett Favre. I mean, technically, they they kind of won the year we won, but it was also the beginning of the season for us. So who won that 98 season? The Broncos. Oh, really? John Nelly won that year? Yeah. So we won 98, 99? Yeah, I think they went back to back, didn't they? Could, they they I, went back to back, or they went pretty close to back and back. Yeah, they went. It was it was against yeah, it was against Green Bay and Atlanta. Yeah, so ninety eight. Yeah. So the or, or Atlanta than Green Bay. So, I think it was Green Bay. Yeah, yeah the ninety seven year, but the night the Super Bowl for yeah. us would have been. Yeah. Either way, whatever. Do you know how much? You know, so well, you guys, you had an opportunity me, with Tony Romo when he botched the the field goal. I don't think that was our best. I, our first off, our two best chances the past fucking twenty years to win was twenty fourteen and twenty sixteen. Oh, Aaron Rodgers making that comeback drive, beautiful. 
Dude, the NFL literally came out and said it was a catch, so there's not even a debate. Anymore. No, 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 not not the twenty, not the twenty. I'm talking uh, about 2014. No, no, I'm talking about 2016 when like they it, kicked the game winning field goal, not the 2014 one where Dez had it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, 2016 was the year, ultimately because everybody was cheap. You had a bunch of these rookies. You had a bunch of you know the most expensive player on your offense, I believe, was Des Bryant at the time. You you had Zeke Elliott on a rookie contract. You had Dak Prescott on a rookie contract. You were doing decent for what you had. It was pretty cheap defense. You Cole Beasley was still on the team. Cole, what the fuck does that have to do? Cole hey, Beasley. Bees bees knees. Hey, he made that. He got the touchdown for the Bills. He, he, look where and, look and, where they're and, at with and him. He, and he just, and he destroyed us last year. He literally looked like a like a like a all star on Thanksgiving. Cole Beasley's not a bad guy. He's not. He's, he's not like bad. Matthew Stafford. He's just so underrated. He's not bad, but like he's like Wes Welker. You, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put him up in the upper echelon like Wes well, Welker. Well, that's, that's very true. That, that is a little high praise. I'm sorry. Uh, why, why are we talking about Cole? Cole is he more like Julian Edelman? Measley, is he Beasley. kind of like there where he has like? No, I feel I, like Julian Edelman's kind of up there with Wes Welker too, though. Who was that one guy from Detroit? Uh, Danny Amendola. We had Amendola. We were the ones. Oh who, yeah, he went to the Broncos too for a little well, bit. I mean, not the Broncos, but the he Patriots. was he was with Dallas. He was the, the first team was with Dallas. Who was it? Really? Yeah, it was on Hard Knocks, and uh, yeah, we yeah. let him go because he wasn't good enough, and then he went on to be actually come a decent fucking receiver. Yeah, be like that. But uh, 2016 was our best year. 2014, it was it was, it was the best year for Tony. But in terms of this year, do you know how hyped I was this year? I was like, man, I'm. I bought a TV subscription. We sh- we shared it. Yeah. And it was so bad that like four or five weeks ago, I'm like, dog, I'm canceling this shit. <laughs> I'm like, I am not watching this every fucking week because uh. every time I watch, we lost. I did not. Uh, well, I mean, the, even if you didn't watch, I, I watched. Well, I watched the. I watched the. Uh, the game versus the Giants where Dak Prescott got injured and we ended up winning that game. But every other game I watched, we lost. I didn't I didn't watch out of the three fucking wins this year, I watched half of one game that we won, and the other ones that I watched all lost. Oh, wow. I am a disappointed fucking fan. You know what I, I'm disappointed in? The Redskins lost to the Giants. Dude, the Dude. NFC East is the worst division in football on fucking ever. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, the, AS, the NFC South was bad, like... What was it, 2015, 2016? We're worse. We're worse than them? Dog. The, no, the division, no way. The, 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 division, the, the division winner is going to be 6 and 10. Yeah, that's happened before. It was, no, it, it was, was 7, seven and, and 9. It was 7 and 9 that year with uh, the Panthers? Technically, the there, could, there could be a winner at 5 and 11. Oh, hands down, yeah. And the fact that they're going to get a home playoff a home playoff It's beautiful. Game, I love it. It's fucking pathetic. I love it. I love it's it. It's pathetic. Even if my team wins it, I don't want them to have it. I want them to suffer. Because <laughs> it hurts their play. Because if they make it in the playoffs, that hurts their draft stock. Have you ever heard of a top 10 or a, or a, um, or a wild card team getting a top 10 pick in the NFL draft just because... They, so but they let's say the Cowboys go 5-11, and 11, right? They lose. It's a top 10 pick still. Are you fucking... You, no, really? That's how that works? Because thought... of their fucking rank. Or well, I, well no, because they got in the playoffs. Because it that, changes. That might, yeah, you're it changes. Because right, once they get in the playoffs, it switches. Because it goes because the Super yeah, Bowl winner is the last, right, yeah. the last pick, and then it goes the runner up, and then okay, it goes like the I, best. I'm wrong there. And so, then because it goes like the first, like as of right now, we're a top five pick, and I hope we keep it. Guess who's? Do you think uh, Trevor Lawrence is gonna go to the Jets? Uh, yeah. Whether he likes to, do, unless he pulls an Eli. You know, you know what I hate. I mean. I haven't seen a lot of Sam Darnold, but get the get Adam Case out of there. What in the fuck? They're, they're I mean, they're going to do it the the minute the season's over. They're gonna get rid of Sam. No, they're gonna get Sam. They're gonna get rid of Sam Darnold first and Adam Case. They're getting rid of both, which doesn't make any sense because you're, you're they're re, uh, they're rebuilding. They're gonna get Trevor Lawrence. Why are you gonna keep Sam Darnold? I mean, because he still has so much potential. Where do you think he's gonna go after that? Do you think he's gonna? They're go gonna after- trigger him. They're gonna trade him. Fuck yeah. They still have him on his rookie contract. They're going to fuck. You think they're going to keep Sam Darnold, a former first-round pick, with the new first-round pick on the team? Uh, where do you think what he, would that do? Where would he go? To the Bears? Maybe. Actually, he might go to the Bears. The Bears? The Jags? Dude, the same teams that need fucking quarterbacks every no, year. No, the Jags wouldn't throw away because they, they still have... Um, they're one and... 
How many? Or is is Garner in, injured? I think he's injured. I think he's injured because he's been out but, for a but while. But even so, like he's not gonna it's, be it's, that but the guy thing is, for the next ten years for the Jags. Fuck no. No, because I don't you, think Sam. I don't think, dude. I, I I hope Sam Darnold doesn't go to the Jaguars because I want his career to actually mean something. No, because here here's the thing. Like it's the same thing with Ryan Tannehill. You have the Jags, the Jets, and the Dolphins, and then you have there's one more team I can't think of. I don't know if it's in the NFC. Usually the NFC is pretty competitive, like all around for the most part. But like those, those are the top three teams that always oh. come to mind. That just oh, and the Redskins. The Redskins until they got Alex Smith. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if they if the Redskins picked them up. To be completely honest, Get like but the, those they're not they're not bringing back Dwayne Haskins. But those those four teams do such a terrible job of. I don't know if it comes from up the top or to the bottom. Like I said, I'm not a, f- a football guru. Where I'm gonna be like this is how they should do it. Cause like most, most people that talk about football that are like never played this sport, like give their opinion and like 50% of the chance or 25% of the time they're wrong. Like yeah, everything we could be saying right now is wrong. Yeah. Cause like, you know, like when they do those predictions, they're like, like I seen them all the time where they're like, uh, the Panthers fucking roast them the most where it was like, they picked the, the bears or whatever. And then it ended up being the Panthers won it. Like everyone picked the opposite team. It's like, cause they keep going off of stats and not players. Cause that's why you play the game. Yeah. But like those those four teams, I feel like just do an awful job with quarterback development and surrounding him with either a good offensive line or a good coach or a good a good receiving core or a running back. Like give him some weapons or give him someone to loosen the load off of this rookie quarterback or give him someone like like that's why the Packers have done so good, even with Mike McCarthy when he was the head coach, is because Aaron Rodgers had Brett Favre, even though Brett Favre kind of like didn't want to train him at first. Favre, Mike McCarthy had two Hall of Fame quarterbacks exactly. to bail him out. E- exactly my point. Like that's what I'm saying. Like Aaron Rodgers, the only reason why Aaron Rodgers became such a Hall of Fame quarterback is because he learned from Brett Favre. And the same thing with uh, Tom Brady. Like nothing against Tom Brady, like having his work ethic and everything like that. But he had yeah. Drew Bledsoe. He had Drew Bledsoe under him. I mean, or above him, but, um, and Bilicek, Bilicek was just a fucking mastermind. Like that was just, well, the, in, you could have a quarterback just like, like Andrew Luck. A- Andrew Luck was destroyed by the fact that the organization didn't did such care a terrible job yeah. right now. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't care to put an offensive line around him until the very end of his career, which they didn't know. But eight, what was it? Like seven, eight years in, then they're like, okay, fine. We'll give you that O line. Didn't matter around that Dude, point. He, he lost the he lost interest. And I don't I'm, think he was even in the league that long for eight years. I'm very afraid. I'm very afraid that Joe Burrow is going down that same route. And I hope to God it don't happen. I hope but that, not either. But why the fuck would you put a guy like Joe Burrow? Oh, the Bengals. That's another team that does a bad job of development quarterback. Why would you do that? Why why on fucking God's green earth? I don't care if you trade the next three first round picks to get the some of the best linemen in the league. Get a guy with that talent, fucking protection. He has a what? He saw his AJ Green, and he has a. That's not that. I don't dog. He has Bernard I, in the back. I, but that's I what I'm will, saying. The I offensive will, line I, is what you I need. I will take protection over. I will take the best protection in the league over the best receivers in the league. Any no, fucking no, no, no. Day. That's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying is like they're 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 not. They already have decent weapons. What I'm saying is like they should. AJ Green was going to leave until Joe Burrow requested his, him to stay. And then I think they worked out some kind of deal, but he, he was going to leave. Oh, really? Yeah, because they suck every year. Well, that's very the, true. the organization after Carson to, Palmer. I think it was like just downhill after that. The organization. No, Andy Dalton took him to the playoffs like five or six years. Oh, in a fuck! Row. I forgot about Dalton. He never won a game. He never won a playoff game. But like, he took the team to play, like five years in a row. Well, that also didn't help because of uh, who was it? who was the head coach for when Andy Dalton was? Well, it was this. Uh, uh, something love or, or damn, I, I can't remember his name. You know, you but know. he was there for like twenty years. No, he wasn't there that long. He was there. No, he came in there pretty much with Andy Dalton. He came in. He came in like maybe a year before Andy Dalton. Two thousand two, two thousand three. He was there since two thousand. Now look it up. Look it up. Maybe look it up, bitch. All right, I'll look it up. I don't want to be. I don't. I'm, I'm doing way too much right now. All right. All right. Something. Oh, dude, look, I'm still on the turbo pussy. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, enough with that. Fleshlight.com, you guys. Yeah, we're not sponsored. And we're not sponsored by that. And we will never be. No. Um. God damn it. So, when are you going to get a PlayStation 5, huh? I need somebody to play with. 
eventually. Are you gonna Are you gonna pay a scalper? A scalper. Yeah. What the hell is a, sca- a scalper? You don't know what a scalper is, you unintelligent swine. I guess. Someone who get, buys something. Marvin Lewis. Marvin Lewis. 2003. I don't know who the fuck I was thinking You're of. You're probably thinking yeah, of Todd Bowles. I said love. Something love. I don't, oh, know. Fuck, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. Kevin Love? I don't know. But, uh, That's basketball. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But he, it, funny enough, he was up for the Cowboys job with Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy and what was his Marvin Lewis. Marvin Lewis were the only two candidates for the wow. Dallas Cowboys that Jerry Jones wanted. What about uh one won a Super Bowl ten years ago with one of the best quarterbacks in the league to this day still. And then a guy who hasn't won a wild card game. Why why didn't he try to get Bruce Arians or Well, I don't think Bruce Arians well he was with he's with Tampa. Yeah, but that was like his he just finished his first year with Tampa. And they were getting Brady. So why No, would he no, leave? that was before he got Brady. Like when the whole he was searching for a job. Then once he got Brady, yeah, he was like he, no, yeah. I don't believe for a second they weren't talking about it behind the scenes before then. Oh yeah, they always do probably stuff like that. Uh but they definitely could have scouted like college coaches too. Or like defensive that defensive coordinator for the 49ers. Yeah. Like kind of like Kyle Shanahan thing when he was under uh the Redskins and then what was he under the Falcons for a little bit? I believe. Yeah, then he went to the 49ers. Just boom. Just like look at that, like that mastermind. Or like what uh uh Cliff uh was it King? Kings, Kingsbury or Klingberry or Dingleberry? I don't fucking yeah, know. Yeah, like weird, him man. and Sean McVay, they kind of like have like kind of like that same innovative style, and like boom, look at that, what they're doing with the Cardinals now. Yeah, I I, I like Kyler Murray. Uh, that's interesting. I mean, he's got weapons. He's very. This shit is not settling in my stomach well. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I, I hit a wall just now. That you just stop. You're like, I'm Dog. done. Well, I already finished my second one, so I got one left, and I'm done. You're not. I'm not finishing these, dude. You got to. The, the point of this was to finish one. Uh, no, but I got. I, I might end off the episode with a chug. I'm not sure. Yet. We have another half hour. We have another half hour. Yes, sir. Yeah, I gotta use the bathroom. We should probably pause this no, thing. We're, we're, no, you're not gonna use the fucking bathroom right now. You're gonna keep fucking going. I gotta keep going. <laughs> Yeah, pussy. All right. All right, what the right. fuck? You gonna take a shit right now? No, I gotta. I gotta do pee. it live. I gotta pee. I'm not gonna pee. Do it live. Guy. I'm not doing it live. Get Why? out of here with that. Get out of here with that. I'll turn away. All right, let's go. Let's go back to the football talk. talk. All right. No, so. no, no. We're getting off football talk, and we're going to gaming. Damn it. All right. You go to gaming. You start. You you talk about responses or ads. No, or, no. We're no. You're not pissing. I'm pissing right now. No, you're not. You're, you're editing this out if you have to. No, you're not. <laughs> oh my god. You're not going anywhere. All right. I won't go anywhere. That's fine. If I had another person here. Had another person here. That's one thing. I have nobody to talk to. You can talk to the people. The people that listen. I haven't talked if to there the is people. anybody that listens to the first episode, which would be hilarious if it is, because they'd be hearing this arguing about me having to use the bathroom. And you're not using it. <sighs> By the way, I locked the door, and there's security out there waiting to beat your ass oh, that's if you BS. leave. That's BS. So I hired a guy. His name's Jim. Jim. <laughs> so should, no, we are, are, are you going to get a PlayStation? Uh, yeah, eventually. When's eventually? Um, next year probably. What games are you looking forward to? Oh, Cyberpunk. Hopefully, oh they they do the PS4 games on there, right? Yeah. It, okay. Well, yeah, they're not releasing a PS5 version. They're, re, they're they're doing it. So if you put in the PS4 desk or whatever, they up they update it. Yeah, yeah. So it's the PS5. Ah, uh, Cyberpunk. Um, Assassin's Creed. And that's already out. Oh my god! Don't even get me fucking started about that. Have you played it yet? I've seen gameplay of it. I. You're not Va- hyped Va- about it. Valhalla seems like it's the best one in the past three years. I think I think I've even seen that it's better than Origins. I'm I'm done with Assassin's Creed. I, s- I know for someone, the foreseeable until they until they go back to its roots. I know someone that didn't like the second one. The blasphemy. The how, blasphemy. How Ex- do I exactly what I said? I, I was how, like, how, what? Did, the like, fuck? Yo, if my, I, I, if my boy Dylan was here, he'd castrate you right now. Like, I was like. What I, like, I even looked at him. I was like, "What do you mean you don't like the second one?" He's like, I, "He's like, I found it too choppy. I just didn't like the gameplay." I'm like, "Fuck the gameplay, the story, man! Like, what? Yeah, the the, the, the gameplay is outdated. I'll give you that now. But it, it, like when it came out then, like I mean, yeah, I was still a little choppy. But like I popped in that, then I popped in Madden 12 on my right. PS3, and I was like, kind of the same setup. Like, I don't know. The only games I have right now are I, I'm going through Spider-Man Remastered. Mm-hmm. I'm almost platinuming that. 
Again. <laughs> yeah. Do you have the Miles Morales one? I, I'm I'm on that as of right now. Is it good? It's for what it is. It's awesome. I, f- I thought it was more like a DLC of what it looked like. It, that's yeah. what everyone was saying. It's not. They they change they change the way he moves and the way he acts is way different than Peter. They make it very different. I mean, yeah, it's oh, which is good. It's, at the end of the day, it's still a Spider Man game, yeah. but uh, like. He he moves a lot more freely because he's new. He's new to this, so like he's not as pristine with swinging through the city. He's kind of like all over the place. He's like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Yes. Yeah, that's just good. Like he, that's he's, how... he's flailing around and shit. Like that's good. Like there, it's attention to detail like that. And uh, I like the character of Miles. Um, I didn't used to because I think they tried to make him like Peter way too much. But. Uh, they, as of late, especially with Into the Spider Verse, they changed it into more of like this, this hip. Yo, kid I can't believe who it took them four years to make and, that, huh? I said I can't believe it took them four years to make mm-hmm. that. That just throws me off because, like, even like even when it came out, when it did, like, I was like, it took them four years to make it. So, like, when they started making that, well, I don't know when it came out, but I think it was like 2018 or something, like, or 2019. Yeah, but like in this game, like they're constantly like blasting hip hop music and stuff. Like that's awesome. Oh, that is pretty. Like cool. it's it, it, like I never got this vibe from reading like a Miles Morales comic. For me, it was just always like copycat Peter. Like yeah. it almost beat for beat. I don't know. I, I I never really liked it, but uh, but now like it, it he has his own feel, and, and I adore it honestly. It's it's different enough for me to like. It's not like a Call of Duty where it's like you know, basically the same formula, just new skin. Mm-hmm. It legit feels different, so that's why I like it. That that's the only things I'm playing right now. I'm playing as of, as of right now. Uh, God of War also. See, I never played the new one. Is it good? Uh, yeah, because I, like it had a lot of good reviews. Um, it's it was like I think it was voted. I think it was for the best PS4 game, if I'm not mistaken. I thought it went to Red Dead. Oh no, no, for PS4, then yeah, it probably went to God of War. Yeah. Um. I think I think that's gonna go to uh, Ghost this year. Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Dude, that, I that's think, such a beautiful I, game. I, I think it was between those two. Have you played it? No, and I want to because I, I want to play it on the. I want to play it at the at the highest like. I got it. Settings, okay. If yeah. you want to borrow, like after. Oh my God, we can actually do that because we have disc. Yeah, I'm I'm one of those people that do not like to download. Well, you're gonna fucking hate the uh, you're gonna hate it in the next like the next console, whatever they release after the PS5. After, yeah, because yeah. they're gonna get rid of. Oh, it's all digital. After oh, that. hands down, they're gonna get rid of. They're That's like, why. That, why do you think they're releasing it all digital one now? Because they're working. You, I, I guarantee you, I almost bet money that they're gonna make a PS5 Slim after that. That's gonna be all digital. And then there's gonna and then the next because they always make th- they usually make three, like so with the PS3 they had the big fat boy. The slim, and then the next slim after that. Um, the pro? No, it, it was like it was a cheaper PS3. Did all the same things except it had like a slide tray instead of like a, I don't know. It was it was a cheaper PS3. Yeah. And then they had the PS4, PS4 Slim, and then the PS4 Pro. Uh, PS4 Slim was or yeah, it was just the cheaper version. And I guarantee you, they're gonna make one like this, except it's smaller, all digital, and from there on out, that's all you're gonna have. Oh, I believe it. And a lot of people are going to complain about that. It'd be surprising. It's the same thing with like, uh, it, like a lot of people start complaining about stuff like they, they don't realize that have a niche of something like, yeah. they're like, yo, what the hell? Why'd you make this all do? Cause like a lot of people can't, don't have internet. And I think, I think as a, I think as of right now, in this day and age, you should though. Like internet should become free, but like some people live out in the woods and stuff like that, where they're like, I, internet's really I, hard. I, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, well, then you need to have that that mindset of, okay, well, maybe I can't do this. and Because you, you still have the old games. I don't know. I think if, I think my, if for people like that, they need to have backwards compatibility. Like, that's the thing with Sony that I think they, they just completely dropped the ball with. They don't, you can play PS4 games, PS5 games, but you can't play PS1, 2, or 3. The new Xbox, you can play it. I mean, there's some exclusions, but you can play all the previous Xbox games on them. See, that's the thing that throws me off. I was like, I don't understand they, cause, why. Because like, they're Sony, back. No, Sony's no, 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 no. mindset. Sony's mindset is nobody. If you want to play those games, just get the old console. That's their mindset. No, my thing is like, why is it so hard to do backwards compatibility? Like, isn't a disc a disc? It's not that hard. 
No, well, not, that's what it's different architecture. It was made through different. It, it was made through different software. It, it. But you think as they update the software, it should be able to handle the older software you like think? a whole a whole lot easier. Like when you when you update your computer or something like that, you should be able to run something a lot faster I mean, the, and run something these that's older are and quicker. Right now, these are these are more computers now than they ever were before. That's what I'm saying. Like they should be able to like run. Yeah, they the, should. The, I, I mean the 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 problem isn't necessarily. Is it the coding? Maybe. It, no. It, the problem necessarily a, isn't the if it can run, it's how it's going to run. It's more of uh, oh, how, can, how can we convert this? Because it's not, of course, it can handle it can handle playing PS3 games. It's probably where that's gonna be too pixelated or whatever, and like it's no, not too choppy. No, 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 and they're no, like, no, oh, no. they don't want like that. No, not even that. It can handle it, but like the formatting of it, like. It's back then they were using different formats and stuff to make games than what they are now. Like like I said, now it's like like they're like computer games. Back then it wasn't like that. So you have to basically reformat and emulate every fucking game in the PlayStation library, which I guarantee you there's gonna be some exclusions. Yeah. But it's the fact that they don't have backwards compatibility at this point. It's, it's kind of sad, it's yeah. It's bullshit. Because someone like me who... Now, if I want to play a fucking... Well, if I... Because I want to get a PS1 Classic and hack the fuck out of it. So I have like hundreds of PS1 games, which I'm going to do. And I might bring it in a later video. Oh, nice. But if I want those games, I have to literally go and buy each individual one and get a PlayStation 2. Hope it the fuck it works. I got a PlayStation 2 already. I know, but the laser dies after, after so often. Yeah. Like, I don't want to worry about that. Because... With old tech, old tech has issues, and then the older it gets, the harder they are to find, and the yeah. older the the harder it is to find those parts to fix them. Yeah, backwards compatibility fixes that, and these newer systems tend to last longer. Yeah. Oh, speaking of side note, this is me more personal note for me. Speaking of old shit, if anybody happens to find a 1972 Nissan or a, a Datsun 240Z. Message this and w- oh like God. YouTube or whatever, because I'm looking for one desperately. I don't care if it's just the shell. I need to know. That's like one of my dream cars. Just Ugh. switching the script. We can go back to gaming now. I think we're done. We're done with the gaming. No, I think we're done. Oh, we're done here. <laughs> yeah, you brought up cars. No, oh, oh Jesus. Oh yeah, man. I think we're done. Um, no, 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 we're not done. I got one more thing I want to bring up. Oh Lord! Yeah, it's about the whole Me Too movement kind of deal. Oh my God! Nope. nope. No, 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 no! It's about it's about a movie. It's about a movie. Hold we're on, hold on, hold on. We'll, no, no. we'll save it for next time. We'll save it for next time. All right, guys. <laughs> All right. See you later. Yeah, yeah.